In this video, I'm going to show you how to forecast the number of daily active users and revenue for the company Snapchat. So this data set contains data on users and revenue going all the way back to the first quarter of 2015. Note that the number of users and revenue are both expressed in millions. But before we create our forecast, I want to create a line chart that shows the number of daily active users and revenue over time. We just highlight our data, click where it says insert, click recommended charts, and then click OK. So here's our line chart. I'm going to click up here to give it a little more color, and then I'm going to click here, and we're going to change the name to DAUs and Revenue. Now you can see that the blue line, which is the number of daily active users, and the orange line, which is the total revenue, have both trended upward over time. Instead of making a chart, we could have also seen this relationship in something called a spark line. To create a spark line, just click where it says insert, and then come over to here to where it says spark lines, click line. And then for our data range, I'm gonna input the number of daily active users, and I'm gonna click okay. Now, if we scroll down, we see that in this cell, it has the same line that we have in our chart. And we could also create a spark line for the total revenue. So I'm just gonna drag this over, and this line right here is the same as the orange line that's in our chart. These visuals are helpful, but they only tell us about the past. What if we want to predict the future? For example, what if we want to forecast the number of daily active users for next quarter? We can do this using an Excel tool called Forecast Sheet. Just highlight the data along with the dates, then make sure you're on the Data tab and click Forecast Sheet. Now you've got two options. You can use the default line chart, or you can click here and get a bar chart. Let's go with the line chart. The blue line represents actual data points. These are the number of daily active users for every quarter going back to the first quarter of 2015. The orange line is our forecast. As you can see, there are actually three orange lines. The top line is the upper confidence bound, and the bottom line is the lower confidence bound. Now, if you click where it says create, this opens up a new worksheet where you can see Excel's predicted number of users for the next eight quarters. So this is the forecasted number of users right here. So I'm gonna click home, and I'm gonna make these numbers a little bit easier to read by getting rid of some decimal points. And we see that for the next quarter, Snapchat is predicted to have 359 million daily active users. For the quarter after that, they're predicted to have 373 million users. But let's say that we'd also like to predict Snapchat's total revenue for the next quarter. We could use Forecast Sheet by going to the Data tab here, just like we did with the number of daily active users, but I'm going to show you a different way. We're going to forecast total revenue using a regression. Now, to perform a regression, you need to have an add-in called Analysis Toolpack. To install the add-in, click where it says File, then click where it says Options, and then go to Add-ins right here. And here's the Analysis Tool Pack add-in. I've already installed it, so I'm gonna click Cancel. Once you've installed it, make sure you're on the Data tab and click over here where it says Data Analysis. Now scroll down to where it says Regression, highlight it, and click OK. Now it asks you to input the Y range here. The Y range is the variable you're trying to predict, in this case, total revenue. So I'm gonna highlight total revenue as our Y range. Next, we're going to input our X range. This is our independent variable, in other words, the variable that we believe is going to affect total revenue. In this case, we're just going to use one independent variable, the number of daily active users. So I'm assuming that the number of daily active users, as it changes over time, will affect Snapchat's total revenue. In reality, there are probably many factors that affect Snapchat's revenue, but let's keep it simple and just assume daily active users is our only variable. After clicking OK, we see our regression output. I'm gonna make this a little easier to read here. Now we're gonna need two things from this output here to predict Snapchat's total revenue for next quarter, and that's the intercept and the coefficient for our X variable. I'm gonna blow this up to make it easier for you to read. Now, given these two pieces of information right here, if you tell me any number of daily active users, I can tell you the predicted total revenue for Snapchat. So let's assume that the next quarter, Snapchat's gonna have 359 million daily active users. 
In that case, Snapchat's total revenue would be calculated as follows. We just type in 359, which is our predicted number of daily active users. We multiply that by the coefficient for the X variable, and then we add the Y intercept. This gives us our predicted revenue for the next quarter, assuming that Snapchat has 359 million daily active users. I'm gonna convert this to a dollar amount to make it easier to read and get rid of those decimals. And we see that our predicted revenue for Snapchat for the next quarter is $1.22 billion, assuming that Snapchat has 359 million daily active users in that quarter. Now let's see what our predicted revenue would have been if we had used Excel's forecast sheet function. So we just go back to our original data here and we're gonna highlight the dates. And now let's highlight the quarterly revenue, go to the data tab, and click forecast sheet. Now if we click create, we can see that Snapchat was predicted to have, according to forecast sheet, 1.214 billion of revenue in the next quarter. So 1.214 billion predicted according to forecast sheet, but if we had used the regression analysis, we end up at 1.22 billion. So they're pretty close either way. And that's it. If you'd like to receive the Excel file that I used to create this video, you can just sign up for my email list using the link in the description section below. Or to access the Excel file immediately, you can become a supporter on Patreon.